Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, we have 10 days until the next financial report is gonna hit us hard. So let's get some money, let's get some salvage, let's upgrade our mechs and see if we can finally get the guerrilla uh, bushwhacker online. That is actually one of my things that I wanna try to get done today. So Shadowcat running up again, good. Chronic Toast needs two days to get back online. Interesting. Does it mean... Yeah, we're gonna wait two more days. Sure, why not? Okay, all work orders are complete. Let's take a look at the whacker that we got here. Uh, is it gonna be better than the Shadow Cat? We will see about it. Is it gonna be better than the other whackers that we have? All right, <clears throat> it came with an Ultra Auto Cannon 10 already. It has a good chunk of hard points. Very missile based. We have some MMLs. And a proto heat sink kit, which is currently broken. Ah, this thing needs a fusion core and an engine upgrade. Dreadnought Gyro, though, 15% damage reduction is so good. The 14 rated sheath beacon, gunnery A and B, and a predator, chameleon LPS. I mean, that is a definite yes on building this thing. Uh, it also comes with a cool shot and the heat bank. Cool shot is a passive thing, right? Yeah, it activates when above 50 heat. Oh, wait, no, when 50 heat damage is taken. So, yeah, it's a, it's a last resort situation. We have a fusion core 240, which might be good enough for the guy. Yeah, what we now need is an additional heat sink. And, I mean, we have an XL engine to go with the guy. Yeah, I think, I think this could be something. Do I want the MMLs? That is the question, though. The ability to run LRMs and SRMs on this is pretty good, but I feel like if we want to really go down that path, we need more of them. The Auto Cannon 10 is fantastic. This is just amazing. Has a recoil of 3, though. Do, do, though. Huh. 1.5 million C builds as well to get the XL online. Maybe we don't do it yet, and. Uh... Oh God, just drop the case and put the engine in there. I really feel like we shouldn't yet. I really feel like we should try to find better items for the guy and then just go nuts with what we got here. Is is the, is the, the wackeronies here? Let's go, guys. Uh, I would say we're gonna go into the command center, see if we can find a nice mission to play, and ideally we want to play for Marik because I want to grind the affinity and probably eventually go for an ally on those guys. Battle in the lowlands it is, guys. Let's go. I'm um, gonna take all the salvage. Almost all the salvage. 3 out of 12 is good enough. I'm here for the priority picks. And one more thing. Uh, the Shadow Cat's affinities. I have not really taken a look at that. We get Jump Trooper at 20. 10% jump attack damage and 10% jump distance. Hull down at 40. 1 defense and 5% less visibility. And Runner at four, 140. Okay, I don't think we will ever get there. But yeah, the... The, the, the jump thing is okay, I would say. But let's go in and let the party begin. So let's see what's coming here. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop right here because the enemies are in front of us. Uh, and behind us. All right, I see an assassin. Okay, okay, okay. I think we have to... Oh, we have to fight in two directions now. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Industrial Centurion is what we got here. We have a blue flame. It is a little quad mech doggo. Hello, blue flame. What are you up to? And there's also a Locust 3T, as well as a an Ajax, ooh, a Hunchback 1G, and a Kronos. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, Shadowcat, get into a nice defensive position here to intercept. I think we want to try to get away from these fools up there. Beacon is on, mask is off. Okay. We can actually ping with the beacon. This is an ability that I completely forgot. So, I'm very happy to see it here. Yeah, I think I want to deal with the guys down below first before we go up north. They have decent initiative as well, so this is going to be a very dynamic fight. The blue flame is kind of damaged already. Good to see. Waka goes in, Waka goes rup, and raise it up. Six evasion. It's not the greatest amount of evasion ever, but it's good enough for now. The Ajax is moving around. Okay. So, then we have the good old Kintaro, gets 5 evasion and the guarded stance. We're gonna use our searchlight. And we are almost done. There's a Clint as well. Ooh. This could be bad for us. Pirate Clint and the Locust. And lastly, the Centurion. 
with lots of ballistic. What are you running there? Machine guns? Mag shots? Um, something like that? Huh. God, nine evasion. Nine evasion is so much. Let them come close. See what's coming. Blue flame going on the high ground. Don't have long range, please. Ooh, these are like... Uh, what is that? LBX lasers? Rex lasers? No. Uh, problems. <laughs> we have them. The chance is not great, unless I go for the Hunchbot. But I feel like my defensive stance is very good right now. We have cover and guarded on everybody. And as soon as we get the Dreadnought Gyro online, we also got the Bulwark ability. That's gonna be really good. So 60% damage reduction instead of 40 then. Hunchback missed. Oh, it's the 1G with a heavy rifle and a medium rifle or something? And then there's the Kronos. Hmm. It's an inverted Hunchback. Look at this. Has the hunch on the left side instead of the right side. That's the guy. This is the other guy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I am going to still wait to see what the Kronos is doing. There's also a chance that we intercept the Ajax. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. This thing is just jumping around. Crazy. Uh, 11 evasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a problem. I want to wait. I want to wait for the Assassin. It might be a good target to go up against as the first one. It really depends on how fast he's going to go this round. Point blank shooting. Six evasion. He only has some medium lasers. And, of course, his limbs that he can just throw at us. <laughs> he can try to headbutt us or just go for a nice kick or any kind of punch melee attack. But in terms of shooting capabilities, the Hunchback and the Kronos are the ones that need to be taken out first. Centurion. I'll take it. And yes, these were machine guns. Ah, oh, by the way. <clears throat> the combat lock is active. Locust. Yo, we gotta deal with those guys quickly. Um, that means... We're gonna try to... Try to hit whatever we can. Ooh, this is bad. This is good. Kronos? I think the Hunchy is the worst guy. Alright, should we just move? And I'm gonna try to shoot whatever I can at this fool. Um, acid MRMs first. Here we go. That is some damage. My idea is to make him unsteady, so my other Waka can get a better hit on the guy. Currently, he doesn't really have it. Nope. Need to go... Uh... Up here, obstructed line of sight. Suboptimal. Very suboptimal, but this is as good as it gets. Let's do it then. So, here we go. 30% chance with the acid. Do we go with acid? I think we we will. Hold on rockets. Narc first. Acid later. Everything else follows. Let's go. The higher damage to armor is really good here. <clears throat> we didn't still make him unsteady, and I think this is where the Shadow Cat is gonna come in. Let's go toast. Uh, I don't like the stability here. We could jump, yes. We are running over rough terrain, which is gonna be a problem, but here we go. Let's use all of the machine guns as well and try to get something going there. Kill would be appreciated. Um, we didn't get the kill. We made him unsteady, though, and we took his side torso, which means he is without weapons now. That is a pretty good. 44% for melee. We could try. Does it matter? No. It doesn't. This shot also really doesn't matter. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ajax, no. Where do we go? What do we try to hit here? Oh, that was the doorbell. I need to take that. Alright, guys. I need to show you that. Uh, that was the postman. And he said... Oh, let, let me quickly go over here. That was the postman. And he brought that. <laughs> Jagger Swagger. I have that shirt. The Jagger Swagger shirt, but different. That is so cool, man. Uh, so whoever sent that to me, it wasn't me. Uh, thank you. <laughs> that was nice. 
Wait, is that a Jäger or is that a Rifleman? Is that a... Is that a Jäger or is that a Rifleman? It might be a Rifleman. But hey, anyways, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, what can I say? That was a nice surprise. Okay, uh, let's keep going, guys. Where were we? We were deciding what to do with the Wacker, huh? Um... I am a bit afraid of the Ajax getting in my back, so I think I'm gonna run down here and we're gonna just shoot whatever we can. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, it's pretty good. We also get a massive amount of resolve out of that, and that is fantastic. Okay, new round. Jagger Swagger. I'm gonna show you the shirt at some point. I think it's currently in the laundry. The reference to the shirt that I have. Okay. Shadowcat getting attacked by the Kronos, but I think we're gonna we're gonna just heavily retaliate from from right here. Oh yes. Rockets? Sure. I wanna end them in one go. Kablam! Down goes the Kronos. Pretty good. So, we only have to deal with the Assassin and the Ajax, and I really feel like killing these guys quickly, destroying them quickly, is, is imperative, because we want to have a solidified front in, like, that one direction up north. Assassin is moving. Okay. Oh, wait. Why? Why did he fall? There was literally nothing in his way. He stumbled across a, like, tree stump or whatever. <laughs> what happened? Uh, the Khan. Assassin. Assassin, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Blue flame? Hold up, what happened here? Use heat sinks, evasive cover, run and fall. Uh, there's a 30% chance you just do that? Sprinted with damage? You had no damage, did you? You had no damage on your leg. Knockdown. I'll take it. I just don't know why it happened, but <laughs> I will totally take that. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. Uh, let's turn around and actually shoot that guy. We still have such a low hit chance. It is incredible. Freaking no sensors. You know, I think we should... I mean, first of all, get more tactics. And secondly, I have an active probe, thi I think, now. Which is tremendously helping with no sensors. Or against no sensors. All right. Oh, he's going melee. <gasps> no! Oh, it was a charge attack. This is gonna be so much damage. Are we losing components? Oh! Oh! I mean, we are alive, but <laughs> how? <laughs> what an attack! And the thing is, we kept all of our weapons so far. So, yeah, about that, you have no, literally no evasion anymore, and you know what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna punish you for that. Right here. Right now. That was underwhelming, but the Shadow Cat could stand up and maybe get him. Oh boy, oh boy, we need to keep the guy safe now. Chronic, stand up, come on. You can do it. Do we have a fraction of a hit chance to get this guy down now? Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, we might get some stray shots, but I'll go all in. Hmm. That was a turbine destruction, gyro destruction, engine destruction. Um, we crit him out instead of making him go boom. Which means there is salvage, but we don't have the salvage right to take him. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. Um, sure. Let's get down the assassin. Sure. Ah, the prone stance. We need to get closer in order to mitigate that. Uh, is that smart? I don't know. I'm gonna take it. Here we go. Jump jet destroyed. He's panicked. No, wait, Chronic is panicked. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. Is the blue flame gonna get an angle? Yeah. Okay. 
that that's on me. <laughs> that is totally on me. Will I do it again? Um, or would I do it again? Probably, yeah. Actually, because I want to get out of this. Guy's not going down. He still stands with eight HP on the side. Huh. Okay, assassin. Thank you for not hitting my other arm. Losing the medium X pulse is not the biggest of deals here. I I really don't care. All right, how do we do it? Like this, I guess. Let me get a hit chance, please. Thank you. He's still on his feet, funnily enough. <laughs> All right, I just hope that he's not gonna get another shot out. Locus coming in with some energy weapons. All righty. Clint. There we go. Just tagged us. That's fine. And then we got the uh, Centurion. Whoo! That was close. That was really close. Goody. Goody, goody, good. Um, we want that side attack. We want it to perform now. And we're gonna go standard ammunition. Fire away. All right, 100% of the reinforcements are down. Let's go. Turn 15 is the Locust. He's running away. He was seeing his friend getting obliterated, and he's like, no, I'm not going to do anything about that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Should I just jump all the way back? I think I'm going to do it for the moment. Keep him safe. I think we can do it with three max alone. I mean, we have 355 tonners against whatever that is. This guy's trying to tag me all the time. What else is in that mech? It's a Clint, so I guess big ballistic. Of some sort. Centurion next? Sure. Let's go get him. It's a bit of damage. And another one. Let, let me guess. No sensors? No, we just have long-range problems. Okay, gotcha. Okay, we have his uh, vision a bit down because of the chaff, and his arm is also very damaged. The blue flame is hunting. Oh, boy. He really wants the cat! No! Alright. That is 24 armor damage. It's okay. We, we can take it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Terra Bird. Let's go. I think we want to attack the Centurion from the front instead of his side, which is untouched. Yes. So, we go and move. And we go and try to hit. I think this is Acid again. Let's go. Narked him. Significantly higher hit chance now with missiles. Leave me alone! I don't want to be here. Alright, we try to get the low ground. Brace it up. Yukiana. There's an argument for a kick. There's also an argument against it. I think I should shoot. This is my sweet spot. This is my sweet spot with two evasion. All right, let's try. Headshot, huh? All right. That's good. Let's go. No chaff. I don't think we need it. I think we actually kill here. So we didn't. But the guy is down to, I think it's a handheld ballistic, if I see that correctly. It has a white tag. Okay. He's still there. Blue, blue Flame did nothing. Fair enough. Yeah, in terms of our own defenses, we don't really have a lot right now. Four evasion, two evasion. Uh, the uh, Kentaro has five. Okay. I think this is the round where we end the Centurion. The Clint is also coming in. I am actually afraid of this guy because I cannot... I cannot... You know, see what he's running there. 
Huh, okay. Blue flame is very kickable now. That's like really bad. <laughs> okay, and the Centurion. Big butter boom. Mm-hmm. Wait, were we in the blast? We were in the blast! No. Oh, why? It's Stackpool here. Stackpool? What's the name of the of the author? Uh it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Alright, a thing that we can do now is actually. We go for the kick. I'm also going for Infernos, because he's already pretty hot. And we want to add on top of that. 55 armor damage. Mm-hmm. Certainly made him unsteady. How much heat did we actually add on top? A little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, my friend. What about the heat? The heat is on. Funny thing is, we can actually... actually shoot again. Without major problems. Alright. The radical heat sink kit is solving that problem. And the emergency coolant system. So there's that. Here's the Clint. What's he gonna do? Flamers. And I think MMLs with like heat damage stuff. I don't know. I really wanna help. I really wanna help, but I should go. I wanna keep the Shadow Cat alive. Alright. So turn 16 is turn of the blue flame. And as predicted, he's not doing a lot. That's perfect. We go for the kick. And we go for like a full attack into his back. Let's go. Miss the kick. Uh oh. But the damage could be enough anyways. Okay. Ugh, so close. So close. Do it again. Go in with the kick. This is like a regular damage destruction attack. Another miss. Holy macaroni. But I think we have enough damage to take him. We should have. There we go. So blue flame down as well. Okay. So we got a Locust, and we got a Clint. We got Chronic Toast. I'm gonna reserve this real quick. Mm-hmm. Locust. <laughs> it hurts. The, the, the unsteady situation is not good at all. But here's the thing, the Locust didn't move a lot. Hmm. Should I shoot it instead? I should shoot it. But that opens up a backstrike from the Clint. That's not good. So we could sprint over here. Or here. 39%. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's brace it up. And uh, go for it. An arm is down. And the leg is almost taken. So, Mr. Clint, your turn. Probably gonna go for the Kentaro then. That's what I believe. Mmm, the heat. It's on. It's not. Okay. I actually think it's safe enough to actually bring the Shadow Cat back in. So, there goes our battle computer. Toast? You gotta be kidding me! Ah. Put it in the head. It's safer there. Oh, I'm mad. I'm really, really mad about that. It was Advanced Optics Battle Computer that we just lost. <laughs> and the fire control system to go with it. You were fine, buddy. 
I'm getting into dangerous territory again. I better punch out. Oh, come on. Come on, you were fine. Okay. There's nothing I could have done then. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the proximity to the enemy that made him panic out. M maybe it was not. Cannot tell. <laughs> but I can say, I hate what happened. Okay. That was good. Almost got him. I mean, we will we will get things done without it. It was just such a beautiful item that we are not having anymore. We didn't get the knock. Okay. So, tear or bird. Get down here. I'll go all in. This is where we want to just end the fight. Thank you. There's nothing more pleasing than an alpha strike that mostly hits, right? Get down on the ground. Alright. And this is gonna be the kill. So we made it. But it came with a cost. Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's check it out. Mission successful. Mission successful. Huh. I really hope we can keep that, um, that Shadow Cat, right? Also, did Chronic bleed? Crap. That is a thing that I didn't see because I'm not used to look for that on the, on the, on the, uh, event log up there. On the floaties, I would have seen that. Maybe Chronic was bleeding and he was like, before I die, I'm gonna go. I could have possibly prevented that. Sheath beacon gone, optics gone, targeting control system gone. Oh my god. Okay. So, we got three with a total of 12. So, Locus is pickable, but I don't want to. There's claws, there's a pirate SRM. Claws are good. They also provide value. How many do we have? Zero. Primitive cockpit, speedy legs, spiked helmet. There's the Ajax, but it's out of our league. It's out of our league, but it could provide us with more um, lamb stuff. Inner medium laser pirate. Oh, these are good for charges, right? This is what we got. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, we disassemble. Oh, what tonnage is the Ajax? I mean, I mean, we have a bunch of lamb items. We could just take three picks and hope for two more. Because nothing else is even interesting here. Absolutely nothing. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, no streamer loot today. Okay, so we didn't get the Ajax, but we made some progress towards having one. So we have three parts already. Maybe that's not bad. We get a lamb turbine and structure, a large laser, and a bit of garbage. Okay. <laughs> what was I expecting? At the very least, we didn't lose the Shadow Cat completely. We have to repair, obviously. Um, But we also didn't get any good... Weapons for the potential Wacker Guerrilla. So. I don't know where to build yet. What to build? We'll see. Obviously, Procedure 110 Montauk is putting pineapples on pizza. <laughs> oh my god. It's a war crime to do that. Why are you calculating so much? Is there something wrong with my shadow cat? Now, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There are some war activities, that's why. 19 days? Sure. How much? Alright, a total of 10 for the cat. I think I want to still put it to the front. And... We wait. Still have some some days here. Argo upgrade complete. Oh yeah, that's because we have now the third mech bay at full capacity. Okay, Toast, get some experience with Belphegor while you're recovering from that wound that you got. Stupid charge. Uh, so one day here. 
All right. Now, we have the third Meg Bay active. That's what we wanted a long time ago. And I really feel like we want the Waka online. It's just a good one. And since we don't really have anything good, we're going to put the stuff in that we have, which is the 240 rated engine. And the XL upgrade. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, I will take a look at this guy in a second again. But right now, we just need to... I wanted to make sure that we have enough money for getting over the next financial report. So that's an important thing to have. 30,000 C builds left. Yes. All right. We will take a look at another shop. I hope that we get a duel as well so that we can grind some money back. There's some machine guns. Yeah, it's nothing interesting here. Okay. So. Mm, let's wait another day for the Waka X6 and then go to the command center and see if we can build a duel. A build a duel. Play a duel or so. <laughs> There's a solo. I am not against it. All right. It's against the pirates. Honestly, I feel like random salvage gives us more than just raw money, correct? It's 100,000 per pick. Maybe not. Let's get the money. It's easy money. It's fast money. So let's do it. I want to definitely train Yuki Honor. She's important. I want her to, to be an assassin later, so in we go. So here we are, guys. In the nighttime. Luckily, we have night vision. All right, and we got our streaks. We got our autocannon fives ready. Now we just need an opponent, which is a stinger? What? <laughs> Am I a joke to you? <laughs> what? Really? Uh-huh. Yeah, you better run away, buddy. You better run! <laughs> is this a, an ambush maneuver here? Uh, where you're drawing me into like a stone rhino that sits around the corner? Oh man, I'm happy that I went for the money because that loot is so bad. Like, so bad. Okay. Mission, mission successful. Let's check it out. We will certainly play one more mission, guys. Because that was certainly a joke. <laughs> one and a half! That was a one and a half skull duel. I mean, hmm. Is there anything worth it? I mean, we destroyed the engine, correct? The fusion core could have been maybe a, a, a bit of a thing that we could sell. Hey, hey, hey. Well, all right, let's see. Let's see what's coming. Part of me really wants to punch a little higher already. So three and a half, maybe four skull, but we got hit hard last time. All right. Lucky for us, we didn't take any damage. Oh, you had a light PPC at the very least. I'll take it. Sure. Lap. Heat sinks can go. Jump jets can go. Some extra value. The light PPC is okay, I would say. You have a bit of a range advantage compared to a medium laser, but the damage output is not significantly higher for triple the weight. It's alright to have it. But you also have that jamming factor, which is really nice. And wait, I think light PPCs have an accuracy bonus as well, correct? So, might be worth it. It might be worth it, actually. What I was actually looking for was better weapon systems. Guess we don't get them here. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Again, the new Waka, it wants to be outfitted with something good, something exceptional. And yes, it has the auto cannon, but it has a recoil of three. Currently, we are not able to manage that correctly. So we have a we have a recoil of a reduction of maximum of a two currently. We need some electronics to go with it, so that we can reduce it a bit more. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of the fatigue. And here we are. So, Lefay, you need sensors before anything else. Let me see. We have Dragon in the house. We have Terra Bird. Terrabird is fine with six tactics. I think a bit more gunnery is helpful here. Yeah, you need that. Oh, 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 hold up. Ah, oh, we cannot quite go for sensor lock, but we will get there soon. Oh, I like it. I like it, I like it. 
Uh, then we got Yukiana, which could and should get something here. Is it Tactician? Is it Cautious? Sight and Sensor range makes a lot of sense for an assassin type of unit. So let's go Tactician on this. And uh, another point of tactics, so that no sensors are a thing of the past now. That being said, we need to take a look at our friend the Shadowcat in order to yeah, get it back online. We are missing the cockpit. We are missing an arm. <laughs> it hurts so much. So much. Ah, why? Why? All right, uh, I'm gonna quickly bring this, uh, the stuff back that we need, which is a medium pulse and a... I mean, is it a medium pulse? Could it be a heavy laser? And another one. And then two heat sinks. Give me a sec. I think... I think this is good. Yeah. Let's get the heavy laser action in, so we have a bit more pinpoint damage. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, and then like fire control systems and stuff. Uh, Clan Standard is already here. The pirate one, we don't have another mm -mm, battle computer, so we're gonna keep the clan system. We don't have any ECM currently. But we have one available. An angel ECM even, but that's it's heavy, it's two tons. I want it, though. I want it. How do we get it? How many slots is the angel? Two. So the streak ammo goes here, the angel ECM goes here. We drop the medium X pulse. And since we are relatively close all the time, I could maybe take some ER small lasers. Using all of our hard points. Could we get away with half a ton of machine gun ammo? I feel like the answer is yes. Let's try it. This is it. Trying to super duper optimize this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, any sensor upgrade? Come sweet here. Energy range. Energy range is... Uh is a thing. I think it's better than the sense on side range. Let's go. Here we go, guys. So, <laughs> this is our Shadow Cat coming back to life. We need a day and then we can bring it to the battlefield once more. And yes, we need to also take a look at the Waka, but again, that's gonna happen later. I think we still need to grind for some more equipment. So, let's go. Um, A Free Worlds League officer in the open. A recovery in the jungle. Destroy base gives us a lot of salvage. It's against Marek, huh? It is. It is! Also... Also... Mm, all of this is kind of bad. We want something against the government. Or we play the escort. Which I am not really pumped about right now. I mean, we could play a light mission. But then, what would we find here? Alright. I'll take it. Gives good money. Uh, it's another mission against the pirates. Blah. But, alright. We'll go for it. Why not? So. Waka 1. Um, Kintaro. Shadow Cat. Oh. Toast is out for the moment. So I guess it's gonna be LaFay then? She's our next best bet. Seems like a deal. Okay, guys. In we go. Okay, guys. Here we are. Enemy... S oh. Enemy scout lance is over there, huh? Uh-huh. All right, then. Let's start here in the forest, in the jungle, in the foliage, so that we are a little bit hidden. We got a bit more damage reduction. And uh, see where this is going. This is not quite nighttime, right? So we are in, like, normal vision state? Enemies taking the turn. Do they have a support lance? Oh, I don't know. We're gonna figure this out in a second. Mm, yeah, so far I see only one lance. We have a cloud buster, which medium rifles are broken. Good. A scorpion with a broken energy weapon. Uh, a hornet. 
and a blue oh blue flame okay 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 that thing has something so blue flame should probably be our first priority as a result and that means we're going in let's go brace it up i don't trust this is this only four max or tanks as well i don't know by the way, the Cloudbuster is not a bad tank per se. Yes, it is rifle based, but it actually can pump out a good chunk of damage as well. Let's move here and brace. Scorpion coming in. Sure. Wait, what is a Scorpion? An autocannon 5? Okay, Shadowcat for the win. Um, Yeah, no, it's fine. Ah, the reinforcements are there, in the back. Good to know. So there is more on the table than these guys here. It also means that there is more loot on the table than these guys here. Alright, so my goal is to attack the blue flame as our first target. So we're gonna do exactly that and miss every single shot that we have. <laughs> Today's jinx. Hornet. Yeah, we don't care about Hornet. Super duper light mech. Very, very lightly armed. This is a problem. This is not a problem because he missed. Quad makes deal more damage with kick attacks. Oh wait, this was a charge though. Um, I mean, thank you for giving me the free kill, I guess. Let's go. Bonk. Did we? We did. Down goes the blue flame. That was good. So in order to attack something, we have to jump here, which is, I think, fine. Let me see if we can get a shot out on the Hornet. <laughs> the answer is no. So no machine guns. Huh. One hit out. Maybe I should have braced instead. I mean... Um, okay, and you take care of the tanks. You will certainly go for the Scorpion, because that thing still has his autocannon. And we don't want that here. Okay. Ah, not quite a kill. And keep in mind, guys, tanks can also go melee. They can smash you. They can try to run you over. Oh, wait, it's a machine gun. So you are an energy-based scorpion with a machine gun backup. I see. What's up here? Chameleon. Okay, there's some value. There's a stinger as well. And I am very happy that these guys are still pretty far away. So we don't have to worry about them too much. And also Shadowcat having an ECM. It's so important. <laughs> so. Harnet. Thank you. We're gonna try to hit this thing again. Streak has finally fired. Yeah, I'm not too worried about this. This should be fine. Lefay, let's go. Try to hit him. Lefay is not really the greatest marksman. She has not really trained gunnery so much. But hey. With volume of fire, we will hit something. Lower leg destroyed. Okay. Uh huh. Let's go in again. I think the Kentaro is fine on the other side. It can hold up <laughs> on its own. We are struggling killing a hornet, everybody. This is what Mech Warrior, the, the pinnacle of Battletech, has become. There's an urban mech in the back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go kick. Shoot some, I would say, regular ammunition. And so just go for it. I mean, we will most, most certainly destroy this thing. And down he goes. Oh, all of these are quick sell garbage guys. Alright. Scorpion down. There's not a lot left of this dude. What's the Cloudbuster gonna do? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Let's try again, guys. We have a 40% chance to hit with the autocannon. Oh, and we finally got something done. Nice. So Hornet on the ground. That's pretty good. 
I mean, this is a relatively easy mission, but there are still some enemies that might give us a bit of trouble, like the chameleon in the back. It's the turn of the hornet. Yeah, he's limping now. I don't see him doing anything. <laughs> Never mind. 25 damage. That's what he can do. Um... Let's get moving. Shoot from here. Very good. And that means our Shadow Cat is free to roam a little bit. Okay, Lefay. You wanna use your mask to go in there? Could. Oh no, now that I toggled the mask, I am locked into this turn. Nyek. Okay. I'm gonna set up for next round. Just gonna jump and brace a little bit. This is fine. Stinger coming in. Alright. So we go for another kick to get the Cloudbuster out. And I wanna go in from behind. And, um... I think I'm not gonna even shoot everything here. This Cloudbuster might be a nice addition to our lance, actually. Ah! Crap. I have to invest another turn. Anti-air targeting. Yeah, that's good. It is a one evasion ignore. Or two? I think it's one. Cloudbuster doesn't do anything. He's confused. I love to see it. A chameleon, a chameleon is running. No shot. Actually, this. Right, because we could have hit the other side. Ah, the slow damage is not working out. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, we shouldn't play with the food. We're just gonna go for it now. Stinger is here. I mean, let's be real. What we want is weapon systems for our Waka that's in the mech bay. And that means um, probably some good missile weapons. It's not really exactly what we are looking for here in form of a Stinger. There we go. Lefay, Lefay, Lefay could go for the chameleon. There's Irby. Okay, started some damage. The other guys are going to follow up and kill the stinger then. Here we go, kablam. Beautiful. Okay, and as soon as we get the Kentaro, which is gonna be next round, we will end the Cloudbuster. Ooh, you got large lasers here. Wait, they got two chameleons! Ha! Huh. Two chameleons! That's good! It's good because of potential salvage. So, Terra Bird. Um, it, it would be very nice if you just... You just kill now, okay? Please, thank you, yes? Thank you! Also gives her more experience by getting a unit down. I don't think we're gonna salvage anything of the Cloudbuster. Yeah. Gone. Gone completely. So, nothing to shoot, so we wait. I mean, Lefay, this is a trap, right? We're running right into the autocannon of the urban mech. Let's hold here. I'm gonna give him a turn. We got 8 evasion and angel ECM, so it should be fine. We're jumping. But not very far. That's good. 2 evasion. I love it. Irby? Kablam? Is that what you say? No? Okay, and they're wasting a lot of heat on my shadow cat. Alright, beautiful. Let's get in there. The close chameleon first. Here we go. Actually, I also got vigilant, so I can have high initiative next round. Pretty good. Actually not, but it's what we get. Okay. So, and then the shadow cat. We run through the spore cloud. We get in here, we jam these enemies, and we have a very good chance to hit the chameleon. Brat, brat, brat. Yeah, he's open. Seriously good. Okay. 
Close range Wacker coming in. The bam. That is a side torso. He's bleeding out. Four activations remaining. Okay. We could just leave it at that, honestly. <laughs> how do we get how do we get the Kintaro in there? Okay. This is Irby, and Irby is dangerous, as you know. It's the best mech in the universe. So we wanna try to take him down with our long range. Blah blah blah. Wrong side. But anyways, the small laser is down. Still has the ballistic. Here's the chameleon, though. I really feel like we should leave him. Because, again, he's bleeding out over four turns. If he's not even punching out beforehand. Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it. On towards the next chameleon. See what we can do here. The streaks didn't fire. So that's a bit of a problem. We are missing some damage. And we couldn't crit. That's alright. There's an argument for trying to lag the chameleon here and just go for kick attacks. Uh, it's just a pulse, huh? 60. Okay, I'm gonna go up here because of stray shots. Shoot the bolt on rockets. See what's coming. Sight also down. I'll take it. Alright. So, I want Irby down, and we're gonna take our long range to get that done. Good. It is a dangerous target. Irby's are not, not fast, but they carry firepower. And if you get to them, they don't need to be fast. So this is the fresh chameleon. Let's go ahead and attack him from the side with a kick. <sighs> I still shoot everything, I guess. I'm here for the salvage, so let's make it count. Mm-hmm. Ah, we destroyed an arm. All right. Can kick again? No, only charge. Not a thing I want. So we go for his left side and try to leg him. And we did. Down with you, my friend. Down with you. Oh, out with you. I like it. Okay. That's pretty good. How long for you to bleed out, by the way? Not long, that I can tell you. Mission we did it! Yes! We did it! Alrighty, let's go. This, this is gonna be good salvage here. Sadly, we don't have the most salvage rights in the world, but uh, I think we're gonna get some very nice goodies here. I kinda wanna make the Waka a missile and ballistic boat. So, I don't know if we can find something in that area. It's also only running a 240 rated engine, so it's not the most, like, speedy mech in the world. We need some kind of mid-range options for it. So MRMs would be fantastic. I would settle with LRMs, honestly. Let's check it. Cloudbuster. <laughs> Funnily enough, there are still three parts of it. Medium rifle. I mean, rifles are very light. How many ballistic hard points do we have on the Wacker? It's, I think, two. Ah, I'm gonna say no. There is a flag fire control system with a negative recoil attached to it. This is exactly what we want for the autocannon 10. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. View master cockpit, a thermal mass, the double chameleon. Let's see what they bring to the table. We cannot take the full thingies, by the way, correct? No, we have a total of 12, and we needed 14 or 15 for these. So we could already disassemble all. And then take a look. Big engine. Big money. Engine heat sinks. Honestly, the 300 rated engine could be something for the... For the fast walker. 
we couldn't just make this guy really, really fast to make use of his um, medium laser setup that he's currently running. Thermal mass, a double heatsink kit is just raw money. It's good. So are you saying that the chameleons didn't really have anything good in them? Should have checked them, huh? The small lasers, the machine guns. LBX laser is kind of interesting. It has okay range. More accuracy, evasion, ignore. Really good against VTOLs. And a recoil of two. Is this good value? Because recoil reduction is a thing that we already think about when building this. 48 damage for 35 heat. I, I honestly think it is. I mean, it's a cluster weapon. But it's helpful against flying units. It has evasion ignore and accuracy and a higher crit chance. Three slots, five tons. I think it is worth it. <laughs> I honestly think these are worth it. <laughs> Let's take them. Let's take them, have some fun with them. Um, yes, I want the double heat sink kit, I want the engines, but we also have some random salvage. And, and this is definitely helping. It's directly helping us building something. Let's go for it. Alright, why not? Auto cannon 10, also not bad. Got some small lasers and... Oh god, the random salvage is not on our side today. Holy macaroni. It's not good. But anyways, guys, I am very excited to play around with these quick cell large LBX lasers. I hope they are good. If you enjoyed the episode today, then don't forget to leave a rating. It really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.